Hello everybody, I am Kay and you are watching me play South Park the Fractured Bird Hole today. <coughs> and last time we got Classy's medicine. Yeah, totally not drugs. Totally just normal, everyday medicine. Nothing else. And I was just on my way to give it to her, so... Let me see if I can... I don't even know if I can get there any faster. Nope, I can't. Wait, this is this actually where I have to go? Yeah, I think it is. It might be. DLC. Excuse me, why is this... Look at this one. I never noticed this bus stop was labeled DLC. And here we are, taking a selfie. With art picks and 125 fall fashions. And I'm pretty sure you're just gonna put it away magically as soon as I take a picture. <laughs> yes, you do. Thanks, Sarah. God, I feel like I've been Praise the Lord, little cuckoo kid. You leave me alone with that shit. Okay, here we are, Jimmy's house. All right, Classy, I got your medicine. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this oh is yeah, you store it. How about that? That's bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken the dead. You store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. How should you have known? Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Uh, uh. Fast pass. Fast pass. Fast pass. Fast pass out. <laughs> you would have waited two seconds longer. You're gonna take that selfie. You're actually taking a selfie with me now. Are you gonna put away that blunt also? Is it gonna show your panties in the shot? No, it's not. Good. Okay. I'll see you on the ground. Alright, to the you store it. What's going on now? You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Who wants to know? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. Really? Okay, do I go to the you store at first, or...? No, it looks like... I think I can't even. Okay, so... Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh... Complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. What the hell do you mean it's more complicated? Oh, sprung, You're messing with real Let's superheroes dance. here, you know I that? Mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let's, let's punch. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. <sighs> You're gonna get frozen, you know that, right? Not bad, new kid. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I have a pretty good feeling too here. Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously, I appreciate it. You're going down, sissy. Microaggression. Hit him. Yeah. <laughs> It is you sh who shall do the going down. I feel like that was not worth it. You know what? His boyfriend is not with us right now. These guys seem to be very tough. I don't know if I can actually beat them. Okay, who's the next target of my unbridled rage? Fill her up! My turn now. 
Wait, hold on, are you? Oh, excuse me, I have a balloon to piss in. <laughs> oh, you're doing the I same thing, that's great. Not bad combo. If I not do me punch the jet out of, sure. Um, okay. Uh, I'll just be over here taking notes on your technique, Super Craig. Not much to it. Punch and punch again. Drop that down if you want. Punch and punch again. That sounds like a good okay, tactic. Coon on the prowl. Uh, take a look at that. Two of them are down. Well, that's good. And even better is that you're standing over there. You're gonna get knocked back and I don't even need it. <laughs> Not gonna interrupt that. If you wanna kill your own guys... Seriously, that's fine by me. Shining hate finger. Puberty make you want to kill everyone? On you, partner. But since that's not enough, we're gonna get frozen in place too. That's going to leave some scars. Are you a hemophiliac? Let's find out. What's a hemophiliac again? Is that someone who's afraid to see blood? Because I think that's it. I don't know for sure. Oh well. Sugar rush. And I always thought diabetes just made you woozy and stuff. <laughs> no, diabetes is a source of insane strength. What do you think? Victory. Okay. I feel like I almost leveled up. <laughs> That does nothing for me. Nice one. That sixth grader knew that sissy is a pejorative term for any man who doesn't... I couldn't read that fully. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> Avian deposit. Pretty sure you mean a bird's nest. Alright, Park County Police Station. Almost there. Okay, officers, you wanted to talk to me? I'm here. Excuse Party me? In the evidence locker after we nabbed that vigilante. Um, I don't know what vigilante you're talking about. I have something important to do in here. Wow, this place looks different than the from the Stick of Truth. Who are you supposed to be? A New York fashion editor? Go on through. Yes, I am Boutole. So then, so then the WAP says to the Polak, if I wanted tits, I'd have beat up the nip in the black guy's hat. <laughs> are you just, you guys are just looking at me wherever I go. You know nice what I... work taking down the criminal element, little crime fighter. Oh, is someone you jealous? Us, kid. We're the good guys. Okay, I trust you. Really, I do. I mean, you have got that friendly, sincere look on your face when you're following my every move. I'm sure you're friendly. And I'm gonna take your donuts. Pretty sure you'll not be mad at me for that, right? There's a hole in the wall here. Yolanda dress. Excuse me, can I put that on? Please let me be able to put that on. <laughs> do I just get the dress or do I get everything else too? Yolanda wig.
Why does it have a mustache? I don't want screw it, I'm beautiful. Okay, you guys wanted to talk to me. Um, I mean, hello, guys. You wanted to talk to Ooh. me. Oh, what do we have here? You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Maybe. Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Okay, whose house was that? Pretty sure that's uh, Mr. Slave's neighbor. I don't really like this. I mean, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and search through everything else we got here. Hello there, welcome to the soft room. I'm a friendly detective. What's your name? A soft room? Ex no problem, just let me know if you need to sit down and talk things out. You know, you're kind of freaking me out already. What do you want to talk here, about? Shot, let's wrap. What do you mean, hot shot? So exactly why are you wandering around the police station? Do you have information about who's behind the big crime wave in South Park? I understand how this attention must be scary for you. You know what else is scary? Choking on Jared's five dollar foot long. <laughs> I wrote that myself. I actually do stand up on the weekends. Here's my headshot. You know, with this crime wave, I'm looking for work. You take my headshot around town and I'll let you see what's in my bottom drawer here in my desk. Want to see what's in my bottom drawer? Huh? Where's that smile? Go I ahead, take my headshot out there and I'll get you kind of don't want to know. <laughs> Mr. Adam's headshots. Seriously, you are freaking me out a little bit. Okay, I don't know what to think about that. But... Hmm. Whatever. Seriously, you guys just seem way nice too friendly. Work taking down the criminal element, little crime fighter. Oh yeah, nice work. Hey, but you can find a spot for my headshot in the police station. After all, I'm wanted for extreme hilarity. Can I put that up on the wanted sign thing? Promoters needed. Oh, I found that in the trash. <laughs> I'm sure that's not gonna get him in trouble. <laughs> you know, City Hall is a high traffic area. Maybe the mayor will hire me for a campaign commercial. A super funny that one. Vigilante's taking all the fun out of law enforcement. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I trust you, actually. Divine Amplifier. That sounds rad. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna see what Mr. Mackey wants to tell me about gender. I mean, right now, I'm sure you will agree, I'm a beautiful lady right now. With the most beautiful Wait, of voices. The vigilante. I do not know what you're speaking of. I'm a lady, I do not fart. The only thing I do is go around and steal some shit. Oh, excuse me, I um... I didn't even just almost say it. I said the S word. I, I'm so very sorry. My parents totally drank too much last night. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that sounds insanely funny. By the way, I c why can I not? I thought I could do something here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, humankind, help me out here. How did you even get here? Did you just go through the roof? Oh. 
Also, why is there a box with the freaking Kuhn and Friends logo here? Neo Konomicon. Guess it's all I can do up here. Ready? Right, you made it. See you later, man. Why do I even need the human kite for that? Away. You want some of this, Borthy? Okay, why are you? Trespassers will be violated. Oh, really? I can actually stop the electricity. Can I hit? Can I hit him multiple times? Oh. Okay, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Excuse me. Makes sense. He was standing in the way. Okay, third time's the charm. Let me turn that off for you. Okay, what do you have to say for yourself now? Huh? That's what I thought. Okay, Mr. Mickey. Tell me more about unnecessary genders. Feedback from the principal that our discussion about sex, I mean about gender, wasn't precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more, uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Yes, male, yes, female? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Um, how many genders does your identity consist of? At least 37. Okay, Two or more. Okay, and then are any of those genders static? Um, no. Okay, well that means it means you're gender fluid, of course. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong, it's bi. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Um, I don't even know. Take your time. Okay. I'm all. Oh. I'm open okay. for everything. Okay. okay. Are you attracted to both binary genders, male and female, or do you find multiple genders beyond the binary definitions attractive? Okay. Um, multiple. Oh, okay. Sure. Do you find yourself sexually attracted to some genders or all genders? Um, all of them? Pansexual, then. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm a pansexual, gender fluid person. This talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. All right. Well, what you know can what? I do for you, new kid? Um. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mac, could you please stop sitting on my face? <laughs> I feel like that part might be glitched out. Just a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm in front of the chair, but he's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, now that we know what gender we identify as for real, I'm going to leave this episode here. And, you know, see if I'm going to get attacked by rednecks again. Anyway, if for some reason you like this episode, go ahead, give it a like, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye!